Alrighty guys, I just about got my shop to where I can work in it for a minute. I ain't got everything done that I wanted to do. Right here, I'm gonna put these pipe branches in the other shed over there and uh, slide these shelves forward and move this uh, screw rack and put it in the back back here. But uh, that's coming later on. Uh, got all my power tools up here, sanders, cutters and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, I've got some material here for people to start cutting these menorahs out. I got, I think these two people wanting commandment plaques. I've got my patterns laid out over here. They're just about ready to go. Uh, I've got uh, one, one, two, three, three boards that I can uh, cut these out on for the moment. Uh, then the uh, post below, I'm going to list uh, the website where you can go to to order these. They're not on the website yet. We're waiting to get some built so we can take pictures of them, uh, what the new ones look like. I'm going to kind of redo the design on the menorah where uh, we can uh, have all the tops of the letters at the same height maybe the same width uh, as you see right here it gets a, a little crooked and we've always had trouble uh, trying to get that spaced out to where it stands straight up where the candle stands straight up but that is the primary goal this time we're going to get all of these lined up straight uh, that way the candles or the oil, oil cups will fit up there nice and level uh, like I say I've got one two three and uh this piece of a board here uh we're gonna build one so we can get it on the website for sale uh and get some of these commandment plaques built right quick get them on the website uh but yeah guys i've just about got it in here where i can i can move a little bit oh uh, i've got this primary goal right here I got my assembly table where I can work real good I've got my uh, uh, scroll saw down there I'll be cutting these out on chop saw uh, cutting bench uh, also got two routers in the top of it to do my routing on got my table saw dust collector that's not hooked up yet I'm waiting on some pipe to get all that hooked up uh but yeah like i say that's my lumber storage up there and uh, there's not really much to show in my shop you know i've just got things where i can halfway find it and it's such a small shop everything's kind of crammed in together so you know organization is kind of uh, a job got my bandsaw on wheels where i can roll it around get it out of the way whatever all of my paint supplies uh, got my uh, some more paint supplies brushes measuring cups first one thing another uh, just some more brushes uh, you know uh, consumables uh, yeah just a dowling jig and biscuits for joining wood just all kind of stuff my tapes uh all kind of tape and whatnot uh screws bolts uh rivets consumables uh shop rags uh yeah lint free cloths shop rags and first one thing another consumables of course I got my old toolbox you know just your standard tools uh sockets and of course it's jumbled up i bought my this toolbox from my dad and uh bought the tools and everything he wasn't going to use them anymore so bought that and i haven't had time to just go through and organize everything yet but uh, it's about the same thing over here 
just haven't really got time to organize real good. But, uh, yeah. It's not organized perfect, but it's where I can work anyway. Oh, uh, got my shop back. Post to it is over there. I'm going to re be rebuilding this. This is a air filter gets all the dust out of the air uh, this one i just throwed it together with scraps didn't really have what i needed but as you can see it's uh it picks up my dust uh, uh that that cleans the air while this picks up the bigger dust uh sawdust particles but uh yeah i'll be glad when i get all that going but like i say guys i haven't got it Oh, uh, to my dream shop stage yet <laughs> but uh hey i can at least get around and work in here i got my heater that's one thing it's took me so long i had trouble with this heater i couldn't get it to stay lit now it's back to working i've got my shop where i can kind of get around in here and move material around so uh well if i can get this thing to move But anywho, this is uh, my drill press right here. I didn't didn't mention that, did I? Yeah, that's my drill press, my stool, uh, my old dust collector. Uh, this right here, I'm gonna kind of do away with this cabinet. I'm not real real happy with it, but this is my lathe. It's supposed to have legs for it, and I hadn't made those yet. Good thing, because I'm thinking about doing away with this system. My grinder, all my lathe tools, measuring compasses. Uh, yeah, I got all that in there. But uh, this was a pretty good idea. It just, I don't know, it just takes up too much room in my shop. But, uh, that's what's in that cabinet. I haven't got my power hooked up yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to working on that. I'm gonna work on that when I start moving all these shelves where I want them. Get that screw uh, organized and put it on the back wall. When I do all of that, I'm gonna run my wiring a little bit. You can see my electrical wiring right there. But uh, I'm gonna run all that a little better. Start putting my outlets in where I can put paneling up. And uh, when I do all that, all these shelves are gonna slide forward and take all this out of this cabinet, take this door off of it, and then I'm gonna turn it sideways and I'm gonna put it over here and keep all of my power tools on this wall. I may slide my bandsaw in this corner when, when I get that, that finished. As far as that toolbox there, tool chest, whatever you wanna call it, I'm going to try to put it over here and keep all my drill accessories in it. But that's a general rundown of, of my shop. we got to get this mounted too. But uh, I got my scraps here ready to uh, use up for the small parts. This is uh, some pieces I had made earlier of the uh, mezuzas. Uh, it's just, I, I want to do that a little better. I'm thinking about making them hinged. I'd like for everybody that bought them, you know, just to make your own uh, scripture sheet, little scroll that goes in them. You know, change them up, I don't know, uh, once a week, once a month, every other month. Uh, just set a date and a time to where uh, if you're studying your scriptures and you see a verse that you like, then... Uh, copy it down, roll it up, and put it in your mezuzah. You know, change them up every now and then. Uh, or at least take them out and read them every now and then. You know, when you're coming home from work and you had a bad day or whatever, you just take the time to stop and take your scroll out and uh, read it. it. It might change your outlook on the day. But, uh, yeah, I've got some storage up here I need to clean organized uh, some of it needs to go into the other shed but uh, there's my air compressor up there uh, yeah i've just got some more organizing to do to 
get it the way I want it. Oh, um, that's it, guys. Hey, look. Appreciate you. Oh, uh, sorry, so shaky on the camera. I'm just holding it by hand here. Uh, walking through my shop. Trying to give everybody an explanation of what's going on. Why I ain't done started to work on the menorahs. But, uh, they are on the cutting board. Uh, drawing board. Or we fixing to get to work on them. They fixing to be cranked out pretty quick. Now, I will say this. When we're, when we get these made, it's going to take a little while for the stain to dry. It'll take a little bit for the shellac to dry. So there may be a little lag on delivery. Uh, that's kind of one reason we're holding up on posting them on the website so we can get some made where they're dry and ready to ship. Something about Etsy's rules that uh, when somebody orders it, it has to be shipped out that day or the next day or you lose your uh, ranking on on your sales on the Etsy. I don't know how all that works. And that's one reason I haven't posted it on my Facebook yet that we're going to put it on that Etsy. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and post this up and I'll let you know now it's going to be on my wife's Etsy. Uh, but they won't be on there yet. You can check back through the uh, website from time to time to see if they made it on there yet. Uh, if they haven't, they may need just uh, they either not dry or we feel like we hadn't got enough ready to ship out to keep her ranking or score or whatever up on her Etsy. But uh, I'm gonna post this up tonight. Uh, tonight, uh, today being uh, preparation day, Friday. We're fixing to be headed into the Sabbath. And uh, we wish everybody a blessed Shabbat Shalom. Uh, and we are working on these things. Uh, we'll be working on it on the Sabbath. I work mon uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, uh, 12 hour shifts. Uh, so I may not work on uh, Monday and Tuesday. But we'll be back hard after it on Wednesday. And surely I can have 10 or 15 whooped out next weekend. Now there's nothing going out this week. Uh, it'll all be next weekend before anything is even close to being ready. But anywho, Shabbat Shalom, man. Appreciate y'all a bunch. We'll see you next time. Bye.